Uh, good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I thought it'd be useful just to bring people up to date. There's lots of things going to be going out in the next few days, and I'm just aware that um, the vagaries of emails and and because we've got different groups of children doing different things, it was important just to bring up to date with where we are. We've been uh, working incredibly hard for a couple of weeks since uh, the government announcement was put in place. Uh, as you've seen on the news, some schools have started their um, their wider opening. Um, we made the decision uh, just to phase it for a couple of reasons. Um, one, over the fact that um, we weren't going to get the government go-ahead till the 28th of May, which they gave us only a day, the Friday, to go forward. And the guidance was changing significantly at that time uh, when we made the decision. And then secondly as well, that uh, we wanted to make sure that we could do it in a phased way, get it right. This is not something we want children coming to school uh, not clear on what they're doing and, and make sure we had all the systems in place and all the signs and all the rooms set up. So um, classrooms are set up uh, at present with um, much reduced numbers, uh, social distancing in place, uh, taking most of the things out of the rooms and I'll be making videos today and tomorrow to uh, share with uh, parents and children of children coming in. Um, so coming into the school, the studio triangulum room is now full of anything we don't want in the classrooms. The hall is largely a storage area as well. So what's happening over the next couple of days uh, is we will be making uh, videos of... Um, the route into school so that children, whether they be coming uh, from Swapcote Lane or the Garnsgate Lane end, uh, Garnsgate Road end, uh, they'll know the way that uh, they're coming in. We will be asking you to uh, respect social distancing on the way in. We've seen from some schools that the children have all clumped together. We really do need to ask that you support us with this. Everyone um, will then have a video for those for no, they know the where they're going in, where their child's class is, and the route around the school. Um, there'll be a letter coming out to um, parents of key workers and parents of uh, children who are in early years one and six who have opted to come in. Um, we will send something out to other parents, but at the moment I just need to make sure all those are sorted. I would also say that at present we are now closing those bubbles because we've got all our plans in place, we've got all our names and everything. We will be uh, giving people indication of who's in groups. Now they're all sorted, but they will not be moved. They are they are now fixed, um, but we will get information out to you. Um, we're looking at the planning for those groups and uh, how we support those children who are key workers in early years one and six whether they can have some links with the children in their classes and how we use that, how we can do that. Um, I'm looking at on -site, online assemblies uh, to do something, whether it be through um, Periscope on Twitter or recording a bit, or Teams, to trying to do something that might be a bit live uh, for those children who are still at home. Uh, we're also, again, another review, as we did uh, after the first six weeks, of uh, the work that we're setting we're looking how we broach that digital divide. Those who struggle to print things off uh, don't have a huge amount of digital access. Also looking at what there, there is out there. There are talks of the BBC widening their offer. There's the Oak National Academy as well. Uh, we are also developing the uh, website um, so that um, if your child is coming in over the next coming weeks, there will be, uh, every, all the paperwork will be on there uh, to support you. Our risk assessments, our plans and, and uh, for um, behaviour and homeschool agreements and things like that. So they'll all be there as well. Um, we will um, review how well this has gone and then we'll look at uh, uh, to what extent we can uh, accept other people in um, because we are pretty full and uh, we have to make sure this space for those returning to work um, for their children. Um, so it's um, been an incredibly frenetic three weeks since the uh, Prime Minister's announcement. Um, unfortunately as well, at, uh, in this house, the boiler went the day before the Prime Minister made his announcement. Um, and so uh, we have been without hot water for three weeks, um, which has been fun. So um, looking forward to uh, seeing some more of the children uh, on Monday and then seeing how these online assemblies go. Stay safe, thank you.